now we can do this. Directly into the camera. Sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know weird. that. I know it's weird. How about two hands uh, clapping together? Have you ever tried this? It's fun. You put your mouth over one person's nose and then they open their mouth and then you blow really hard into their nose and it comes out their mouth. <laughs> Punk Cabaret Extravaganza. <laughs> Delight Super Special Plus Tour Deluxe. See you in, uh, in Colorado, in Denver. Thank um, Fawn Fables and Dvotchka, the hometown of Vegas. And you can tell from the state of my room that they let me out too soon and the pills that I ate came a couple weeks too late and I've got some issues to work through. There I go again, pretending to be you. Make believing that I have a soul beneath the surface trying to convince you. You're accidentally unprotected. This tour is sort of the five year um, celebration anniversary tour of the getting together of the band, I guess. We met on Halloween night at this incredible party Amanda threw at her place in Boston. Um, and a friend of ours uh, sort of brought me down and said, you gotta see this place, it's totally crazy. It's this whacked out artist loft collaborative place. And um, Amanda played a solo set at the end of the night and completely, you know, blew my mind. And uh, from there on in, I, I had it set that we would play together. And so we jammed a few days later and uh, it was it was magic. They were about to go on their first national tour. Amanda, who's tour managing, and she's like, oh, well, I was going to do it. And I was like, well, I'll do it. Like, you know, I can at least do your, I don't really know what I'm doing, but, like, I can at least sell your merch and, like, help carry things or something. And... Oh, I have spec packets yes. for you guys, too. And I finally graduated from college, and now I can do this full time and not be pulling my hair out the whole time. We expect a lot from the people who work for us, but they should expect a lot from us, too. I don't take for granted that these people put on our show and make it possible. Tonight will just be an experiment. Right. It'll be good. I'll be the mad scientist. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do. So we have uh, ambers, and we're going to have blues, and purples, and we're going to have some magentas, and we're going to do some really cool things. Cool. We're going to play it by ear, with our eyes. We are doing Dresden doll merchandise inventory on the first day of the show. Patches and buttons and wristbands and shirts and underwear, DVDs, posters. Really, really wanted to be a part of this tour and we've been trying for a long time to make it make it happen. We're doing kind of like coordination of the brigade to sort of bring in the bigger cities especially to bring a bit more cohesion to mm -hmm. all the amazing brigade stuff that happens and we're doing some clown and acrobatic stuff. Joel, I've been the sound man for the Dresden Dolls for about four years. So we, we've got an 18-piece orchestra on this show, and I wanted to make sure that we've got all the equipment that we need to make this happen. You know, uh, because if we need to rent any extra stuff or we need to get the venue to, to get any extra stuff, now it's a good time to do it as opposed to when we roll into the club and happy say, Joel you know, Happy Joel is a happy show. Happy Joel is a happy no, show. You. Brian and I uh, grew up together in a small town in New Hampshire. And I've just known him for a long time. And he hired me to do this. Yes, I'm ready to get back on the bus. It'll be fun. It'll be crowded, but it'll be cool. When you're with the same six people night after night after night, the conversation never drops below a certain level of bullshit. I love that soap. Star Trek. Oh.
original series. You fucking Fucked hate up. Guinness. Really? Really? It tastes flat. But after a while, it's you just you don't even think about it. You go, okay. I mean, I know what the drill is going to be. I know what the next couple weeks are going to be like. And from the minute I get on the bus, it's just like I put this here. 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 This is where this is where my tea is going to be, and this is it. And I and I can totally see my schedule and see myself in it. Whereas before, it was all sort of groping, you know, it's sort of like traveling in a new land. You just don't know what's going to be around the corner and how it's going to feel. I mean, one of the things is that when you're on the road, even if you're a fucking megastar, you're still in a bus. Like, you're in a bus. You live in a bus. <laughs> Does everyone know the bus rules about the bathroom for people that have never been in the bus? No, 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 number two. And no paper, either. Paper should go into the trash can. Waiting keeps your words at bay. Tending to the sores that say happiness is just a dash away. When I open a familiar scar, pain goes shooting like a star. Comfort hasn't failed to follow so far. And you might say it's self indulgent, you might say it's self destructive, but you say it's more productive than if I were to be happy. Adieu! I'm sorry, I swear the altitude is more than half of it. Whatever. It's 90% of it. I was getting totally winded during those fast songs. I can't imagine what it was like for you. It must have been terrible. But you rallied. You looked great in that dress. Thanks. Oh, awesome. The dress was everything. Shaved the fuck out of my neck. <laughs> it was hard breathing up there on the mountain. It's, uh, every band complains about that. It's tough. That was seriously yeah, it sucks. hard. I thought they were joking, but they were like, why didn't you put oxygen on the rider? And I was like, why didn't someone tell me to? It's a Colorado thing. Yeah, but Pete Bounds put oxygen by the side of the stage. What? Fucking wish I'd known. We'll do it next time. You all right? A little rough. I'm good. That was really hard for both of us because of the altitude, mostly. I skipped a lot of words. I was just like, blah, 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 blah. I think we should make a rule that we don't start tours in places with high altitudes. Because <laughs> this is hard for us to do even when we've been on tour for a while. Yeah. I think I play like a fucking moron. I think I play so hard. I was halfway through truce, I'm like, why the fuck am I wasting this energy playing so hard? Do you know what I mean? Like, it just seemed like a complete backwards. Well, you know how it felt to me? It felt like you weren't playing hard enough. When I drive a Both Dabachkin and Fawn Fables have just been completely tearing it up every single night. We're really glad that we asked them on the tour. And if I were to be happy. And pens and pen knives take the blame, crane my neck and scratch my name. But the ugly marks are worth the momentary gain. When I drive a sharp and object in choirs, the angels seem to sing. Yeah, I'm old. Lance is the pack master. And they work so hard, they're making not all that much money, and I can't even imagine how much like gas prices are, and they're in their van. Probably get into the van. Go get something to eat. Get back in the van. And then Devotchka drives. <laughs> There's still a squeezable jar of how many fan names under this red. There it is. Any hypothesis about why it's there? Well, Sean and I were hypothesizing that it was a, uh, a porno prop. How did you sleep? Like a queen. This is the Battlestar. Very first run. Tom ran into something in Kansas City. That's what most of this stuff is. New York. Jeannie was driving. That's a tree. A tree went right into the side. Yeah, and that's Amanda. That's the latest addition to the shrine. All vans are the same, I decided, having spent some time in the van with Tavachka. We were amusing ourselves coming up with band names with poop in them. <laughs> Step in poop. Cold poop was good. <laughs> Queens of the Stone poop. <laughs> It's 
where the bus driver sleeps during the day, so he drives all night, we get to the venue, and then he checks into a hotel and he sleeps until we have to leave again at night. Not every day, but, well, maybe every day. We'll just check into a hotel like this for a half an hour so everyone can use the shower. This is our first show with a professional merch guy. to a cashier's check at a bank and then send it home. Oh, this looks great. Like this might be a little too big. These would sell twice as much if you implied that you could do more with it. The, the bank robber. Yeah, we can cross class to do us. It's a fetish shirt. It wasn't fantastic. It was less than what it's been for the size of the crowd. We are down to one fucking CD. Whoa! Wow. Wow. Well, no, I, I mean, everything? like all all Luna Voltas are sold out. All Super Melodramas are sold out. We only fucking we are only no no. We've got oh. a box. Okay, I was like. But we're only we're only selling one disc. Do you have more coming? So we'll so have the very least. New York and Boston, but we gotta have them for. Toronto, Montreal. Yeah. Fucking dog shit. Even Burley. You guys ready? That sucks. So, I mean, it's definitely a good, it's a good dilemma to have. We're pleased to inform you that your application's been accepted starting from the time you get this letter. Your life will be a never-ending hope you're feeling better. You get your choice of an The great thing about the majority of the people on this bus is that none of them would even think to sort of treat me differently because mm -hmm. I'm the singer and the star and the same thing with Brian. Such but, an old man, dude. I am a wicked old man. <laughs> I'll pay for this. Heartburn and fucking... <laughs> Heartburn and manginas. I'm <laughs> tripping. <laughs> to Jack Johnson. Uh-oh. How's it going? Hey guys. Hi guys. The girl looks great. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're running out of pink things. Is that Fugazi? <laughs> turn, turn this music off. I hate that. We're going to try uh, the clown bit. Right, we'll do the clown bit between uh, Don, Don and, and Dvachka. Leading into Dvachka. Dvachka stuff is set up anyway. They're set up. Uh, so so yeah. whether That's it's a after great Don, time to do stuff, actually. Whether okay. it's after Don or before Dvachka, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, yeah, and if we can get any light on them. When it's possible. So we can work with you. You can tell us where you want us. We'll just that. see what's up there. What they can How about having like an announcement mic? Because instead of just using the always using the vocal, got, yeah, just have a 58 on a straight stand. Because uh, we don't have the extra channels. Well, it's like being in college and band to college where you need to like still get your degree yeah. and sort of like earn your your freedom and earn your luxuries. It's like you can't reap the harvest until you till the fields, kind of thing. You gotta get out and fucking. Get behind the plow for, for you know a good hard season. I sort of look at the whole thing as a as an accomplishment, as an sort of accumulated accomplishment. I mean, it, it also depends who you ask. A lot of people would say that opening up for Nine Inch Nails was was a big step up for us, and when we got our first tour bus, it was a big step up, and when we made our first video, and every little thing is its own little milestone. 